Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Mm. 12 minutes, is that all I've got left? I thought I had it on charge. Hold on, no, 72 minutes. Ah, there you go. So as you can see, I'm in work mode, I've got the work, work stuff on, I look like a scruffy cunt. <coughs> Pardon my French. So today we're very, reviewing this, a Boland, from the Boland Brewery, and it's their Pleasant Plucker. Yeah, little plucker. 4.3% um, uh, and it says here a copper ale that's more than pleasant <laughs> um, rounded fruit flavours with multi hoppy and nutty undertones and a smooth dry finish oh, finally starting to see the wood for the trees uh, the October room in t inside now obviously I'm going to pallet the walls at some stage uh, and put shelves in and that but that can be done any time over winter the, the priority was to get the bloody octo back in put the uh put the cushion floor down you know those uh that you put you it's that cushion stuff that you click together and uh, just so it's not on the wood because obviously wood and uh things that got, that uh can go pop aren't, aren't too good things so yeah you know, although the hot tub not in a good way, you know, it, we are going to have to buy another hot tub. It's um, there's an inevitability coming, but um, yeah, it's done. Painted the doors on the outside, but even put handles on there, on that room. I've made a small decking area so it's a walkthrough from both rooms. Put the artificial turf back down. Found some bloody good standing there. I have to cut it. Last time I cut, I used this fucking shitty pair of scissors. It took hours. I was so pissed off. I well, fucking standing there, straight through. I thought you steward <clears throat> bar. So, as it says, copper pour, white head, little white head, clean glass, my granddad glass. Uh, this was from Morrison's at uh, Blackpool. Uh, I presume it's everywhere else. You know, it was part of their beer range update, which is a good range update. I mean, it cost me forty five quid, so it was a good update. Um, Nice malt nose. Oh, let's dive in. First one. I'm going out boozing tonight, so I was hoping to do a live review later. See how pissed up I get. Well, then that's maybe the best time to do a live review. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm doing this review now. I'm going to upload it onto the computer, so it's uh, so there's something to watch at least. Oh, that's got a nice maltiness. So, very traditional beer. Um, straight away, some beers come off as, and you've got to, it's a thing that most of your traditional stuff still comes in bottles, whereas most of the craft stuff is in cans. And I remember a time at Sainsbury's when there was little to no cans at all. And nowadays, craft beer cans, wow. Oh. So I felt like I've won today. And uh, we've got the area in between this and the hot tub room. And I've just measured it out. And it's absolutely perfect for the greenhouse to go in. Because otherwise it's a dead area. It's not the most pleasant of areas to sit. Because you get the sticky shit off the uh, that twatting tree next door. Um, I was going to ring the bleeder. But um, you know you don't want to get caught out doing that. Please get phoned. And it all looks embarrassing. But um, they're going to have issues when, they, when, it, when it gets to a certain stage. And I'll tell you what, any, any branches hit my roofs and, and do any damage, there'll be a claim. This is, the, this is my asylum. So it's really good now, because obviously I've got the bare room, I've got the setup. Um, when it's clean, obviously. I've got rid of some of the crap in here. I've done some Instagramming today, so I'm, I'm getting there. Um... But yeah, it's, it's starting to come around again. And uh, perfect soon for a decent uh, live review. And that's, that's where I want to get with it. And uh, it's all, um, I'm liking it. Uh, you know, life is so flipping positive at the moment. Um, so, you know, it, uh, it's nice to be in a situation where you feel like you're winning. And I'm going out for a nice meal tonight, that should be good. 
Um, at least I ain't got to wear a flipping face mask when having the meal. Going up to the bar. Hello, I've got a new That's what it feels like. You, people say to you what you say. I've got a new It gets to the stage where you go, I fucking, a pack of beer. I mean, the best thing to wear are them, them things that go round with, with the visor. They're the best things to wear. You look like a cunt, but you look like a cunt with the face mask anyway. You can't see half your face. And if I go to the pan shop tomorrow, I might buy one of them. Buy a couple for us, because I think they're better. I mean, that sort of thing I would have to wear at work when I'm spraying. Well, in the old works, yeah. <laughs> but uh, not in this work. Don't need to. But, um, yeah, in the old works, I would. So, yeah, um, it's really good. And uh, moving the green ice is a project for another weekend. I'm not doing it this weekend. I need I need to get ship shape and uh, move on to the next little project because we are in project mode. Uh, and then come next spring and summer, uh, when the weather's nice, get home in the afternoon, straight in the bloody hot tub for an hour, do a few live reviews, pitched up live reviews. They'll be the ones. Yeah, it's the Christmas ones that'll be the killer. I'm off for a, well. I should have eight days holiday, plus the weekends. So I don't know how it works with, with days. But I'm sure the boss man will let me know. Uh, in time. It's not like I've got a... I've already told him I, I want my holidays at Christmas. So, and he says if you don't use them, you lose them. So uh, I can't be fucking using them. You know, holidays, holidays. you got to set your holidays. It's what you work for. So yeah, definitely getting a bit of a nuttiness. Um, rounded fruit flavours. Mm. It's there's a hint of it there, but so yeah, another addition to the. Oh god, you can't even see the bar, can you? No, wrong way. There we go. So yeah, another good addition to uh, Morrison's range of uh, traditional beers as well as the the craft stuff. And I think that's the way to go. Um, I've been disappointed with Asda and their range. Sainsbury's range is decimated. Bloody hell. What the Sainsbury's have done, um, they now, some of their range, some of their stuff is... They've got the one pound twenty five stuff like your hobgoblin, Spitfire, blah de blah, and they take up nearly a shelf now, and that's lazy. What it is, it's it's to cut down on staff, it's to cut down on daytime staff, so you don't need so many staff replenishing the shelves. It all goes on night shelves, night stock. The only problem with that is at some stage you can have a lot of out of date bowls, because it's not easy when you're on nights. You just blast the stuff on the shelves. You're not rotating it forward. That's not for night staff to do. It's all about getting through the delivery, getting it done, and uh, going up the slow boggers um, who take the piss on fresh. Uh, but then again, they do have to rotate, so <laughs> and it's fucking freezing on them aisles. No wonder they no wonder they have long breaks. <laughs> I do apologise to anybody from Sainsbury's working, but I did work them at them on fresh, and I do another crack. So yeah, good shave and a good clean. I might even have a shower, you know, fucking hell. Wonders will never cease. Definitely having a shower. And uh, going to have a nice meal and a couple of pints to drink. And obviously we've got to be home for ten. So it'll not be a late one. And I don't mind that, you know, you can you can drink enough in three or four hours. In fact, at the Cans last, when we used to have the Cans last dues, when we won Britain in Bloom, it's a free bar. And you've got, I think it was half an hour or an hour and a half, and you had to, you know, make it pay. I went down once, and I was fucking ramming this anything down. And then I went to the Blue Bell Inn, and I boffed up all over the floor. And I was ill for two days. I just drank too much, you know. Typical young young lad in my twenties, you know. Thinks he can drink the world, and then realise that you can't. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes.
But I've had some of them nights. Uh, not recently, I mean, the last one was about three years ago. We went into town we went for a posh meal, well, posh-ish. Uh, uh, some of these fine dining places, fuck's sakes, they charge you a fortune. And then they come, and there's a, a little dollop of meat, and a bit of veg, and a bit of tater, and you're like, where's the food? And uh, that's the main course. So no wonder everyone's ordering loads of sides. Just to top the plate up, so you, you know you can get a drink, some drink in you. And I reckon that's what got me, because I, I did that. And then the idiot, um, for our friends, were in this pub, and they were fucking dancing, jumping up and down. And me, like a twat, um, you know, I'm just as bad. I, you know, when I've had a drink, I, yeah. And uh, dancing away, and uh, then obviously it's all been fucking churned up inside. And I got to the side, I thought, oh God, I'm feeling ill. And I, and these people, these students in the corner were watching me. And I managed to escape the pub before I got an arse on him. And then fell down in the street. Yeah. Didn't get the red card off the wife there. Oh yeah. Avoided that. That was the last time we went out with some certain mates. <laughs> yeah. Although one of them was a pro and I lost that much. That, uh, yeah. What was it the last time? There may have been another time. Yeah. In any case. We all have them days. We've all had, had we've all had them days. I mean, all of them, all of my mates. We've all, we've all had the one night when one of us is badly, and uh, hopefully not tonight. Oh, oh, get some good food. I need some food now before I go out. Uh, egg sandwich with that. Good on a tree. Egg and mushrooms. Whoa. So I've painted um, some of this wood what you bang on sheds and I've painted it over varnish and even though I let it fucking dry so so there's a key let it dry fucking, you go over again the fucking varnish is showing through so I don't think I'm going to win with that although I had the same thing with these doors here and it, and it covered it so it might just be um, wicks and stuff in that great but who cares really as long as it's near enough. I'm the only one who sees it. My family is the only one who sees it and our closest friends. And uh, I don't care what the world thinks, you know, it's um, it's for us, not for anybody else in that respect. Yeah, it should be a good room. Um, once we get the octub up, the octub's going up this week because I am not doing all this work till late at night, knackered beyond belief, stressing over how to finish it because obviously I'm not a joiner. And there's tricks of the trade how to, how to cover things over. I know, I know in gardening how to cover my tracks. Um, how to do a job fast, do it quality, but still cover your tracks. Um, a bit like builders do when they fucking bury all the shit under the soil and then leave about an inch of soil to put grass on. And then when you come to uh, chop out, a, uh, put for a flower bed in, it's all hardcore and bricks, you've got no chance. And uh, it's that sort of thing, isn't it? Oh. 13 minutes, bloody hell. I can talk for England, I can. I went to the old bloke this morning, and he's, he's a lovely old bloke. He, he was one of the first vets in Nottingham. And his wife died, say, six years ago, uh, maybe seven now. Lives on his own in a massive house, living on his own. And it's right in the city centre area. Um, well, not the city centre itself, but on the verge. And, uh, you know, the house. If it was in the Park Estate, it'd be multi-million pound house. Where it is, it's probably still quite an expensive house. With the garden to match. Beautiful garden. And uh, it's not been worked on for years. This year I've gone in, got the weeds down. You know, for two hours a week, it's not uh, not easy to maintain. It's a big garden to do, get get back under control. You know, I've changed a lot of things, brought a lot of things around, but it's it's an everlasting, you know, it is difficult with two hours a week. But obviously people can afford what they can afford. Um, well, I dare say he's got a lot of money, but, you know, he's a lovely bloke, you know. But in any case... Um, Today, he's got an herbaceous bed, and one part of the bed looked great this year. The other part was very scarce, very sparse rather, and didn't look that great. 
Today I've gone in and I've started separating the plants and with herbaceous perennials you every every couple of years the best thing to do is split them uh, and replant them every two or three years. It's good, it's good for the plant, it's good for your borders because you fill your borders up and that's what I'm started to do today and uh, over the next five or six weeks uh, it's going to be an ongoing project and I'm basically going to fill his old bloody garden with his own plants and because they're very drought resistant you know he's he's going to see all, all his plants all around the garden and it's amazing and for me it's amazing because I'm doing the sort of work I used to do in the the, the best days of Nottingham City Council when we did everything right not this that you see with uh, landscape firms these days, grounds maintenance, where it's a quick edge trimmer <laughs> and then they leave all the shit underneath. We used to rake everything out. If you didn't get every leaf out, you, you'd fail your bonus. And uh, I know it's all down to money these days, but there's a time and a place to do the job right. I mean, in some ways, leaving the leaves and the rock down, it keeps the weeds down. I do understand that as well. But, um, yeah. But then, even at National Trust places, they're, they're, some, of their, some of their work's not that top-notch. Some is, some isn't. Oh, so, 16 minutes in. Getting a taste for the beer now. Although I think I'm going to wear a thermal t-shirt tonight because it's fucking free. <laughs> I'm absolutely frozen, I am. I'm not very warm in here. Although the door's wide open, so that don't help. But yeah, starting to get my room back, get the bloody hot tub and then it's crap out of my room. Uh, this is my room, my beer room. <laughs> With my beer wall, although. We're on about putting another wall over there with all the DVDs and games on. So uh, that's going to... Um, reach into my room. I've put, I put all the DVDs in, in, in the uh, hot tub room, but uh, I don't think it'll look that great. They'd get sweaty, fucking steamed up and sweaty. At least they know you're not going to get steamed up and sweaty. Yeah, almost the chance. <clears throat> Yeah, so, no doubt the thumbnail, or that thumbnail from the other day, if everyone will watch the live stream. So, when you do a live stream, I wasn't ready for it. What you've got to do is hold the bottle in front of the camera, and it goes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, text the picture. Me like a gormless twat, I'm there going, and I'm, I'm working out how to do it. And then it took the picture, and oh, fucking hell, it looks awful. So, luckily... It takes three more as it does it, so as soon as I was able to edit the video, I did, thankfully, and got rid of that chuffing. Um, it was a scary looking photo. I look like, I look like a Chinese man. I, mean, I know my eyes aren't the widest at the best of times, but fucking hell. Yeah, that was scary. That was some, um, some serial killer. Oh. So, going down the tree, I don't really know much about Boland, and uh, I've got my phone on me, but eh, I'm too tired to go searching at the moment. But well played for them, um, never heard of them before, and for them to get a, a national listing in Morrison's, it's a big thing for any company. Obviously, it would be on a four for six pound deal, I presume, I can't remember what I paid. But, so, you know, what you pay at the shop, you ain't going to get it at the shop for what you pay at Morrison's. But Morrison's obviously order a hell of a lot. So, always the thing to remember. You know, don't think you're getting ripped off. It's the fact that Morrison's buy a lot more than you do. Unless you go into the into the, their, their brewery and say, can I have 100,000 bottles, please? And uh, what offer are you going to do, me? And then you'll probably get it cheaper. But uh, if you was to buy 100,000 bottles, you're a greedy get. With a lot of money. And remember, then you have so much day. Ah. Oh, it is nice just to relax. I've had such a week with this 
room across here. It was an idea we came up for. When we bought the gazebo and it got ruined after a day, it was like, fucking hell. Uh, I was at work and the wind were blowing. I thought, oh my God, that gazebo's all right. I didn't think about it. Come home and it's all the sides are down and there's a rip in the top. And I thought, oh, great, 120 quid. And uh, I'm not in the situation where I can afford to, you know, just spend willy-nilly. You know, like most people out there, most people haven't got a lot of capital flying around. And if you have, fair play to you. You know, if you've done well in line, if you've made the decision to open your own business. I know a bloke who, who cracking bloke, and uh, he was a gardener with me at the Arboretum. And the uh, funny thing was, I didn't know of him. Then the first thing I knew of him was uh, I'd heard this story about the um, the works out in I think it was Skegness, and uh, there was a fight on the bus on the way back. And I think it was the tree team against Bullwell. And anyway, they fought all fucking they powered off the bus, fucking battering each of us, as far as I know. Anyway, and uh, even a couple of my mates who were from this area, from the North City Centre area, were scrapping. Um, Stuart, uh, a bloke called Stuart. One of the best gardeners that I know, you know, brilliant gardener, brilliant bloke and all. And I've not seen him for years. And it's sad when you lose contact with really good people. I must go down and have a walk around his park and knock on his door and say, Oi, let's have a beer. But, um, yeah, and they had a police escort back from Skegness. So the police escorted them so far back and then another police. And anyway, there was a big investigation, and they came to the Arboretum, and this lad, he was fucking sand, six foot eight, and to some people he's intimidating. I never found him intimidating. Got on well with him from the start. We had a good laugh, and uh, you know, you know when some people you bond with, and you think he, he, he's a so really good bloke. And then he left, and he went into I think doing some with care. And now he's got his own business, and I think he's doing like he's got like free care rooms, and he's making you know he's making a nice life for himself. And you know he's obviously had struggles to get there. Then he's got there, and he's done it, and he's and he's reaping the rewards. And I have admiration for anybody who can do that. And uh, yeah, and still be a decent person at the same time, you know. Sadly, I've seen friends who who are decent and uh, who change, whether it's them or the people they, you know, who they mix with. And uh, I mean, I do, you know, I've heard stories about ex-mates who've, you know, been heavy into drugs and that, and I didn't even know they fucking did drugs. And uh, I mean, obviously everyone does what we do. We all we all do what we do. I drink. Some people do drugs, and uh, you know we all do what we do in life, don't we? You can't judge anybody. You can't judge anybody, really. You know, life is life. You know, but uh, it's an eye opener when you see, when you hear, and see hear things about people. And uh, yeah, life's strange, isn't it? Mm. Twenty three minutes. Okay, now. I've rattled today. So, thoroughly enjoyed that. Yes, definitely got the nuttiness. Definitely got the fruit um, elements in the taste. And a good all-round traditional beer for me. Um, nice strength. I am freezing drinking that. Absolutely frozen. So when you're working, you know, when you're moving, and you sit down... Good reason. Um, yeah, totally enjoyed it. Out of five, then. For me, about a 4.0 out of five. Um, yeah, a good traditional beer. And that's really where we're going with that. Um, definitely one um, to drink in a pub. Um, if you're anywhere near Bowland Brewery, you little pheasant plucker. Um, huh. I was going to sing some else then, but yeah, try saying that five times. Oof. And that's it for this beer review. As always, thanks everybody for watching, subscribing, commenting, and as always, stay safe. You know, it's uh, we're still in some scary times, and even today, the, the old bloke whose garden I do, he was telling me about his um, 
um, son-in-law who's as fit as they come. Um, never anything wrong with him. And he come down with pneumonia. Uh, they all got tested for COVID. They ain't got COVID, but it, it's a frightening, isn't it? It's a scary, bloody world out there. There's some of the, sh you know, the stuff, and uh, you just don't know what what happens in this world. And if if you're gonna come down with something scary, not scary stuff. Right, that's me done. Um, I need to get this uploaded to the computer and uh, probably do a bit more work, get cleaned up, put my glad rags on, put some decent gear on because I've been in these same shitty jeans all week at work and when I've got home and they're going in the bin as well because I look like a tramp. But you know, you know they've, they've done their service this week. They're old jeans anyway, but yeah, they've really done their service this week, especially while I've been working on that thing. Cheers, and uh, hope you enjoy your Saturday night. Uh, hopefully I will, and uh, have a good Saturday night. I'm hoping to get some nice food. <sighs> Looking forward to something different, a nice Italian. Hopefully we have a nice bottle of red. Cheers, see you soon. Maybe at 10 o'clock tonight, you never know. Or 10-ish, or maybe 11-ish, you know. Because I'll tell the wife I've got to do a beer with you, you know, a live beer with you in the kitchen, not in the shed, it's too bloody cold. And uh, thanks for watching, see you soon, cheers.